Okay, I'm gonna show you guys two ways that you can screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy S3, S4, S5, even the Note 2, the Note 3, and a couple other Galaxy um, devices, uh, tabs, and I'll put everything in the description below, okay? So basically, there's the two ways I'm gonna show you how to do it is either using a wire, wired uh, connection to screen mirror using a M MHL adapter, such as this uh, Samsung, versus using something called Screen Me Mini 2, which is a wireless connection, okay? Now this, of course, is gonna be a wired connection. You're gonna to have to use cables to plug into your phone, okay? Now with this one here, you're not gonna to have to plug anything into your phone, okay? So let's talk about price first, okay? This one here cost me like $50, but this is a genuine Samsung uh, MHL adapter. Now, I mean, to tell you the truth, I mean, I've had a lot of other generic ones that were $10 or less, and they pretty much all work exactly the same. So I, I wouldn't recommend, like, you really don't need to spend $50 on a genuine um, genuine one here. Uh, the generic ones work just, just as good, but you're going to have trouble, uh, even with this, this genuine Samsung. I have, you know, before I started this video, I haven't used it in so long. I had an issue where it couldn't connect. I couldn't get nothing to project on my TV, and I had to keep playing around with it for, like, 20 minutes until finally, uh, you know, I kept... Uh, connecting this connecting it finally worked and I was able to screen mirror okay so in regards to screen mirror what you guys can do with these devices you can basically look at all your photos and videos locally from your phone you can project it right onto your HD TV you can watch Netflix YouTube videos you can surf the net um, you can play games so I'm gonna show you a little bit okay but I'm gonna start off with this one first now if you purchase this one I mean the generic ones are like ten dollars okay so I'm just gonna say let's just pretend this is ten dollars and this one here you get on Amazon for like 40 bucks, okay? Again, I'll have all the links below where you can get these too. So, but with this one here, you do need a HDMI cable, uh, which will run you like, um, I don't know, you can get these on Amazon for like five, six, seven bucks. So you have to use a, a HDMI cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this. Now I already have it plugged in the back of my TV. And also what you need to do is you have to give this power. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work if you just plug it directly into your phone, okay? So let me just go ahead and plug this into my phone, and then I'm gonna give it, then I'm gonna give it some power. And to give it some power, you just need to use your uh, USB cable from one of your phones. This one's fine. And I'm just gonna pop it in right here, okay? Now let me go up, I just plugged it in. Oh, okay, it worked right away. I was hoping that I would have some kind of issue so I can show you uh, what I had to do to get it like working again, okay? Anyways, okay, so you can see the cable here. And of course we can screen, you know, we're screen mirroring now. Uh, you know, we can look through our phone here locally. We can look at some, um, uh, we can surf the net. We can look at some photos and videos locally. Um, like here's some photos here. You can see, and of course you can go landscape, or you can do uh, portrait mode, just like this. Oh, here's a video here, so giving you an example here. And of course the volume is going to come out directly from my TV as well. Okay, one, two, so. testing with my new Samsung Gear VR. See if I raise the uh, increase or decrease the volume, it'll go directly to my my TV. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's just jump into um, let's just watch a YouTube video. Okay, uh, let me look for YouTube here, and we'll watch this video here. Okay, so let me go ahead and pause this. Now let's do this, okay? Now let's go ahead and use the wireless connection, okay? And now, let me unplug this. Okay, so how do I use this now? Basically, I just plug this into my, I just plug this, oh, give me a second, let me turn this off. I just plug this into my HDMI port, and I do, and it comes with a, uh, a USB cable as well, because you gotta give it like power here. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Now, you, you have to give it power by using this uh, USB cable. If you don't have a open USB uh, slot in the back of your TV, 
then it comes with a, a wall adapter as well. You just pop that in there, pop into your wall or wherever, okay? I have a extra HDMI um, or a USB port in the back of my TV as well as a few HDMI slots. So let me go ahead and plug this in right now. Now I have the uh, Screen Beam Mini 2. It's hooked up to my, it's inserted into my HDMI port in the back of my TV. Now I'm gonna show you how to set this up on the phone. Just gonna open that up. We're gonna scroll down on my S5 here and we're gonna click on this icon here and we're gonna look for screen mirroring, okay? Here's screen mirroring. Right here, I'm gonna click on that. And okay, it's already automatically connected me, but usually it would give me the uh, SWD, SBWD. Now we have to select it on here, okay? So it's connecting automatically. Give it a second here. And voila. And you can see that this is totally wireless, okay, guys? So let's do the same thing we did with the uh, MHL uh, adapter. Let's go into. Um, my gallery here and we'll, we'll look at those same vote um, videos and uh, photos okay so here is um, some of the photos and of course you can go into portrait as well um, it's another one we can kind of zoom in here and actually guys uh, this screen beam will work with Samsung Galaxy S6 it'll work with uh, S7 as well uh, actually, it'll work with pretty much any Android phone. Not only will it work with your Android phones, guys, but it will work with your la your Windows laptop. You can screen mirror everything on your laptop to your TV, or you can even extend the windows from your laptop using the Screen Beam Mini 2, okay? So here's the video that I had that I played earlier with the One, MHL two, adapter. And of course, same thing here. Samsung. I can raise and decrease the volume. And it'll go directly to my TV. VR, virtual reality, baby. Uh, let's do this now. Let's just go to a uh, YouTube video. And of course, you can surf the net. You can, you know, watch Netflix. Uh, you can go on your Facebook, Instagram. You can play games. Uh, let's go ahead and just play this video here. Whatever this is. And let me turn this over. And of course, same thing with the volume. I can increase and decrease. And it'll go directly to my TV. So that's pretty much it. You know, the difference between these two, I mean, would you rather spend $10 uh, using like a cable with all that stuff hanging down or spend like $30 more and get this right here, the screen beam. To me, it's a no brainer. If you can afford the $40, get this guys, cause it's a lot less um, a hassle than using the cable. And like I said, with the cable one, you know, it's always like a hit or miss. You know, this one, the screen beam here, with your phone, I mean like, chances are you're gonna be like up and running like in no time with this. It's very easy to set up and it works with all Androids, most Androids as well as your Windows laptop too. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions or anything, just comment below. If you guys subscribe, share, like, that'd be great. All right, thanks guys, bye.